Hi, welcome to Positive Preschool Tips. I'm Cindy. Are you like me and are fed up with stickers? Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with stickers. I love to be able to reward the students and give them special recognition for doing a good job. But the stickers, oh my gosh, the stickers. The children are playing with them. They stick them on their head. They put them on their clothes. They're distracted by them. The stickers fall off. The children lose them. Oh my gosh, I'm over the stickers. So today's video, I want to offer you some alternatives that you can use in the classroom or at home that will give you some other ways to reward your children and recognize good behavior without the headache of the stickers. So let's just jump right into it. The first idea is a great alternative to a sticker, and that is to use some chapstick. Now, what you want is some really sweet, good smelling chapstick, something like strawberry or blueberry, something that has a nice, strong, familiar smell. And I'll link some chapsticks down below if you are looking for some specific ideas. But what you do is you take the chapstick and you just rub it on the back of the child's hand. This way the child can smell it. It's a little reward or recognition for good behavior. It's so fun because it's invisible. The children can't play with it. They're not distracted by it. It doesn't fall off. It's such a great alternative to a sticker. So give that a try if you're like me and fed up with stickers. Another fun thing that I like to do, I call it the Miss Cindy Extra Special Smiley Face. And you can call it whatever you want. But I put a smiley face right on the child's hand between their thumb and their forefinger in this sort of flat spot. You can try it on the back of their hand. This tends to be a little bit smoother. So this is the spot that I use. I like to use a washable marker. Now, when you use the washable marker, it will wash off. And so I always tell the children, oh, I'm going to give you a smiley face, but it'll wash off when you wash your hands, and that's okay. So I warn them ahead of time that that will happen. I know some teachers have used this strategy and used a Sharpie marker. The Sharpie is a little bit more permanent um, and a little harder to get off, so you really have to scrub it to get off. So keep that in mind. But what I do is I just draw the smiley face right here in their hand. So give them just a little smiley face. And that way they get to look at it. It's They get to enjoy it throughout the day, but it stays on them. It doesn't fall off like a sticker. They can't move it around their body and peel it off. Um, so it's just a nice way to say good job and give that child recognition without the headache of the sticker. Another great idea is to set up a spot in your room and what you'll need is a bell like this. You'll need a couple of, or I'm sorry, you'll need just one clear container. So it could be a big container or a small container, whatever you have on hand, and some pom-poms. So what you're going to do with this strategy is when you see a child uh, maybe doing something really kind to another student or if they are displaying the behavior that you want repeated and want them to do again to give them special recognition, you can tell them that they can go over, ring the bell, and drop the pom-pom. So they ring the bell. And what's nice about this, it does get the other children's attention. So the children, if they're playing in centers, might, oh, look over and see what's going on. Oh, there's something happening here. Somebody's getting recognized for good behavior. And then after the child rings the bell, they just take the pom-pom and drop it in the container. Now, this is also a great way to build community in your classroom and have all the students working towards 
um, a final reward. So the thought is here, the children, all the children that get a turn to ring the bell and drop a pom-pom, are all working to fill the top of the container. And you can tell the students that once the container gets filled up and there's all this good behavior and kindness happening in your classroom, there'll be one group reward for that. So it's nice as they get individual recognition by the bell and the pom-pom, but at the same time, they're working as a classroom for good behavior, so everybody's getting encouraged to do good behavior to get to that final reward. Now, I'm going to link this bell um, in the, the description box below. I'm also, when I was researching this video, I found a yellow smiley face bell. It's adorable. It's about twice the price of this. So, I don't know if you're um, wanting to splurge. It really is very cute. And think about it. The child goes over and dings the smiley face bell. The, too cute. Too cute. So, I'll link both of those in the description box below. And you can um, make a decision if you're looking to purchase a bell, which one to get. Another great idea came to me when I was cleaning one of my son's closets. They have tons of trophies from soccer and uh, baseball and basketball. And I thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with all these trophies? But I also remembered how much they loved getting a trophy. So I thought, maybe there's a way I can use that idea in the classroom. So if your child has a trophy, you can use that, or if you don't, maybe you could find one at a yard sale. I'm sure there's lots of people with tons of trophies that they're trying to get rid of. Um, but I use this as recognition for good behavior or to reinforce good behavior that I see. So I have lots of different ways I use this. If I have several tables with children at five or six tables, I may reward the whole table with the trophy if they're being the quietest or if everybody has their hands in their lap and are doing good behavior that I want recognized. I'll just let them have it right on their table. Um, if your children have cubbies or if they have a special little spot that they keep all of their personal items, it might be a fun way to recognize them um, that they will get to uh, have the trophy in their area for a short while as recognition for good behavior. Um, it can get passed around the classroom. It's You only need one for your classroom. You're not giving one to each child. You're just sort of passing along the same trophy. You could give it to a child that's listening really well for them to put it in front of them um, when they're sitting on the carpet or in front of them at the table um, so that everybody can see that they are being recognized and rewarded for good behavior. What I like about this as well is the thought of kind of recognizing a student for good behavior is that the other students will then model that behavior and emulate that behavior because they were going to do what needs to be done to get the trophy or to ring the bell or the smiley face, whatever your reward system is. Another great alternative to a sticker is to give children a little clothespin. This is a little mini clothespin. I think I got it at the dollar store or craft store, but you could use a regular cl size clothespin. And you are gonna let the child clip the clothespin onto their clothes when they're getting uh, recognized for good behavior. Uh, they could click it on their sleeve or on their collar, on the bottom of their shorts or skirt. Um, now the one drawback of this is that, especially if the children have some really good fine motor skills, they can move it around their clothes and play with it a little bit. But if you give these little clothespins throughout the day, so each time the child shows kindness in the classroom or does something that you want to recognize and reinforce, they can collect them throughout the day. 
So at the end of the day, you can, the children can count them out and you can give them a little symbol X mark spot um, for how many clips they earned that day. And then it can be a cumulative program and they can, um, all the whole class might be working to get 10 clips. And once they get 10 clips, they get another sort of um, way of recognizing them for good behavior. And if you're not using the extra special smiley face, maybe it's to go home with a smiley face on their hand. And in that way, the children tend to be a little bit more cautious and careful about not losing them and collecting them so that they can get to that final number um, and get the reward. So all the children will be sort of working and adding up their clips to get to that final reward. So that's a fun idea too. Just a little side note, I always think it's fun to give your system some sort of name, whether it's the extra special smiley face, um, you could call it a kindness catcher and say, oh, I caught you being kind, you get to earn a clip. Or you could call it the gotcha award, I got you, you were doing a great job. You can put a ring the bell and put a pom pom in the jar. So just some fun little way to uh, give it a name and that makes it a little bit more special and a little bit more fun. If y'all have a better, um, probably more creative certainly than me, idea on a way that you would call your behavioral um, reward system, please leave it in the comments. It would be great to share all those ideas with everybody that um, is looking at this video and looking at the comments. If you have another system um, that you use that's an alternative to stickers that you really like and it's really successful for you, I would love for you to share that in the comments. That would be great to share with everyone. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, if you found something helpful or useful, please subscribe and like. I would really appreciate that. I thank you for your time. Have a great day and have a great preschool day.